have you ever read a book and it feels like you just saw the last episode of a series then you go back again looking for the first one so as to understand what actually happened at the beginning that is what it felt like reading Jaguanana's daughter without reading Jaguanana first <laughs> welcome back if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel i post bookish contents i post reviews summaries if you would like to see more bookish contents and tips on how to study which i'm still coming up with do subscribe to the channel and stay to so you miss nothing coming from me so this is a review on the book called jagonana that are written by Cyprian Ekwensi a Nigerian author. I don't, I don't know why they printed the name, the title of the book in white. People can't even see. But the name is Jaguanana's Daughter. Written by Cyprian published in 1986. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, 1986. So the book is basically about a woman of Igbo origin, born by Igbo, uh, Igbo parents, was raised there at the Jaws during the riots between the Aosa tribe and Igbo tribe. They are just her life growing up as a young girl was mostly explained uh, in the first book. It's a sequel in the first book called Jaguanana. This one is talking about um, the child she did not know she had. It's where she found out that she actually had a daughter who was alive. And this one is talking about that daughter, she and the daughter. So the book, the book talks about marriage and mistresses, family in the ethnic wars and uh, border wars it, it actually talked about the war between nigeria and cameroon at the border around that period it was when the team miners were at Jaws. there were people from england greece and there's this particular man from greece whom jaguanana meanwhile that is not her original name she got it on her way which was supposed to be in um Jaguanana, the first one, she had something to do with the man. During that time, a lot of white people, British people, people that were working around there were intermingling with Nigerian people, having children with them. Some even became nat Nigerians by naturalization. These people had many mistresses, like it was something common. There was something uh, that was mentioned in the book that caused me, it said blood smells and that is true because a child if the child did not grow up with both parents or the child was lost at one point they'll start looking for their origin they'll start looking for where they are from start looking for their parents to know their origin and then i don't know if you've had this feeling when you see someone and the person is a relation of yours that you did not know about you feel attachment to the person you do not know the person from time. You do not know the person from anywhere. But there is this feeling you get until you get you get to know that the person is actually a relative of yours. Then you you be like, oh, that is why I was having this feeling. So blood smells when you have anything to do with your blood that you did not know about. You actually have that feeling when you see the person. Talking about the characters, the characters were wonders in their own way. Okay, take Nana for instance. With the kind of reputation she had, like if she should mention her name anywhere, ah, uh, people, people would be like, "Are you the one? Is that you?" But with that kind of reputation, progress and everything, and then be at that at that stage in her life, like how come you you've gone places, you've seen things, you have done things, and then you are back at a low stage. Then the daughter, a lawyer, she too was tending to be like her mother in many ways. Ifke was not taking the mistake of the old would have been made by the new. Her mother was like, should I put it a hot cheek? <laughs> As we'd call it now and then, she was like a hot cheek. And because she had a good body and everything. And her daughter inherited that. And she was like tending to become who her mother was when she was growing up. In the book, I liked the way the author used a pidgin English. He actually used pidgin English for most conversations between natives and pure English was mainly between people that did not grow up in Nigeria, people that came from uh, outsiders. I also kind of liked the way Jaguanana was carrying herself. There's this confidence that she had in her that 
she exhibited i kind of liked it there's something that bothers me though about the book no actually it's two things that bothers me first of all it's mentioned that uh, when jagonana was pregnant nobody knew she was able to hide it and then when she gave birth she gave it to auntie kate i was like how can somebody be pregnant for full nine months living with their parents i guess and then they did not know nobody found that she was able to hide pregnancy for nine months even after giving birth nobody knew that she had a baby or anything uh -uh. i was wondering there's an Igbo adage that says Anaheja ekucha fime, which uh, means that you cannot cover pregnancy so i was wondering living in the same place she was able to be to get pregnant carry it for nine months and then her parents did not find out. Nobody actually found out except the aunt Kate. That one, well, I don't know. I don't know how she did. I don't know how it happened. But I guess I'll have to find out when I read Jagonana, the first one. But I hope it really explains it. But I don't know how that is. That really worked out. The second one is that it was mentioned that Lisa's father, whose name is Nick, had only one sister called Hilda. And... It was also mentioned that Hilda died with Nick. Then when Lisa went to find out about her father's family at Greece, it was said that she met the father's sister. And I was now asking, which sister again? Because Nick's sister that we know died with Nick. Which other sister are they talking about? They said Nick had only one sister. And then she died with Nick. Which other sister did Lisa meet at Greece that was Nick's sister? So I, I don't understand. I don't know if have you have you read the book? If you have read the book, did you notice it too? Or am I missing something? Just like explain. I don't understand. The, if the author was alive, I could have called him and tell him to explain to me because I don't care. <laughs> that was it for the book. Thank you for watching to the end. I tried my best. To make this video as short as possible so you can watch the end you actually made it to the end um thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed us in now please do click the subscribe button if you love bookish contents want to see more bookish contents click the subscribe button and stay with me till the next video comes thank you i really appreciate all those that have been subscribing and I, I mean i expected less but it's actually more than i expected thank you guys very much i really appreciate and if you haven't if you are yet to subscribe do click the subscribe button and then see you next time bye bye <laughs>